everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A. Last week I asked you guys to send in some questions on Snapchat and I have all the questions here so thank you for sending them in. I'm going to be answering these as best as I can and as honestly as I can. So before we get started I've just got to quickly put this disclaimer in. If I get anybody's name wrong or pronounce it incorrectly, which I will, just excuse me. <laughs> Please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's get cracking with the questions. So my first question is from Liam OG4 and he asks what is the best way to get more notice and exposure as a blogger. So for me I found that the best way to gain exposure on social media was through networking. Just finding like-minded people and people that are doing the same sort of thing as you. Just networking with them, doing collaborations with them. Um, also it helps when you start to work with brands and they give you exposure. So basically networking is the best way to gain social media exposure. Next question is from Tallulah Bella Fashion. She asks, how do you balance work gym, time for you both and blogging. I find it a real struggle. Thanks, love your channel. So balancing like work, social media and social life, I do find it quite challenging and at the minute I am doing really early starts and really late nights but I guess you just sort of got to find like a, a happy medium. I have reduced my gym sessions so I'm not training as much now as I used to. I probably then shifted that time and put a little bit more time into my social media and I have a really, really good boss at my current job who's very flexible and lets me have loads and loads of time off. So yeah, it's just sort of like trying to find a balance that works for you and just sort of like scheduling things around. And one thing that I have found is you just got to make sacrifices and you've just got to prioritize what you think is most important to you at the time. So my next question is from Connor Douglas. Connor asks, what's your greatest achievement? So I'd say that my greatest achievement is it's probably starting up my blog and my social media channel because it's something that I've done for me. Um, previously I've worked for other people and helped other people out and actually this is like my little baby, my little project. So I'd say that probably my social media stuff is my biggest achievement and hopefully it becomes something really great. I knew this question was coming. My next question is from jbound141 and he says, Ali, I am curious, is starting a family in your future? In short, yes, I think definitely it will be. At this present moment in time, no. Um, definitely not ready for a family yet, but it is something that in the future is on the cards. Now, my next question is from Jerry408, and I have also been asked these questions by a load of you. The question is, how did you get into modeling? Um, I'm not actually a model. I did once try to become a model, and I found it very hard. Um, I was being asked to go to a lot of castings and I wasn't getting any work so I decided to drop trying to be a model and I pursued my blog and doing social media stuff and that in effect sort of brought a bit of modelling in so I do occasionally get contacted to do modelling jobs however I'm not technically a model, I'm a blogger. So next question, I don't actually know who sent this in because I screen grabbed the image rather than the person that sent the question in so it's from this person. <laughs> Thank you for sending your message in. It says what are the things you like about yourself? I'd say I like that I'm quite driven and motivated in like just generally in life. So quite motivated going to the gym, I'm quite motivated in my work life. So that's something that I guess I'm quite grateful for because I do come across a lot of people that aren't as motivated and it's like, oh, it's such a shame. I just wish you would like push yourself because you have so much potential. And I feel like I do probably push myself as much as I can. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I like about myself the most. So my next question is from malik.bt and they ask, are you planning to get married with Lydia and have babies? We love you from Morocco. Um, thanks for that in guys. Yes, I do intend to, but I can't tell you when because that's a secret. <laughs> Mesh a free LT asks, how tall are you? My current height, I say my current height as if I'm gonna grow anymore. I'm not gonna grow anymore. My height is 5'9". Gemma Hardy asks, what kind of things keep me motivated? Um, that's a really good question actually. I would say, obviously money keeps me quite motivated in terms of a business sense. Um, like most of us, we we do work for our money and that keeps me quite motivated. I also want to feel like a, a sense of self-achievement and so I have my bad days and I have my good days and there are days when I don't feel motivated and days that I do feel motivated and I'd say that on those days that I do feel motivated it is just it will be from anything from like seeing something on social media where somebody's like achieving their goals and I'm like oh my god I want to be achieving my goals and I'll work super hard in the gym or work super hard in business and so that keeps me quite motivated. I don't really know, I just sort of get this inner motivation that I don't really know where it comes from. <laughs> Top Cat D, um, how's it going mate? I do know who you are. <laughs> 
He says, how often do you get your hair cut? But I get my hair cut at the moment every other week. Um, I get my hair cut from Greg, who I've had on my channel already. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you do. So yeah, once a week. My next question is from Chantel Chan. And she has asked, how do you keep your diet and exercise routines, plans, while you travel so much? So I do travel a little bit with work and stuff. And to be honest with you, when I'm traveling, I don't actually stick to a particular routine because it's just quite difficult and I want to be able to enjoy myself so I'll be quite strict during the week and I do sort of let my hair down on the weekends and then when I go away on holiday I also sort of let my hair down but I do stick to a rule where I moderate what I eat and I pick foods that I know are going to be more beneficial to me and I just try to not be too greedy so yeah I will drink and I will have what people may call naughty food um, but at the same time, I do eat it in moderation. Yeah, so I just sort of stay quite balanced and I don't really put on too much weight or lose too much weight when I'm away. So my next question is from Roman Spronken. Now, I don't know if I said that right, but I did my best. Um, he asks, how is your current workout routine? I'm a big believer in split training routines. So to try and train each muscle group twice a week is ideal. I did used to train a single muscle group a day five to seven days a week when I was training a lot more, but now I train less, I like to split train, so I like to train two muscle groups per session, and yeah, that's my current routine. So my next question is from Queen X Abby. Um, she asks, have you always been so fit as a child? Like, did you do any sports growing up? So when I was younger, I was a sports fanatic. I did do every sport. Uh, my poor parents used to have to drive me around to like all the different activities every day of the week. I never really stuck at anything long enough, I don't feel. Um, I was, I'm, I'm quite may impatient maybe. Um, I don't really like give things time to sort of see how I go with stuff, but I did used to do a lot of sport. I actually used to play badminton for county, which is really good for your fitness actually it's quite a high speed game I used to play a lot of football I tried rugby but I wasn't very good at rugby um, it did used to hurt my ears but yeah I just used to do a lot of sport and um, I'd say I stopped playing sport when I started working so that was a sort of transition so I've always exercised throughout my whole life I've always done activity my whole life they've just changed along the way so I don't know who this question is from um, because again I screenshotted it really badly the person asks hi Ali my question is where do you and Lydia see yourself in five years time I see ourselves in five years time Time with another Bengal cat <laughs> and a bigger house that's sort of like our five years and I'd like to actually get a new car as well maybe in a couple of years buy a new car which I'm not sure exactly what sort of car I'm gonna go for yet so yeah that's sort of like five years goals so my next question is from Brian underscore CA he asks what made you start blogging and how did you gain attention I started blogging solely because of Lydia when I met Lydia three and a half four years ago uh, Lydia used to be a blogger and I didn't have a clue what it was um, I used to know that she used to go outside and take pictures on her tripod and it used to take her ages. So because we were in quite a long distance relationship, when she used to come down, I wanted to try and maximise on our time together. So I said to her, look, if I come out and take your pictures, will it save us time? She was like, yeah, definitely. So I used to go out and take some pictures of her on her camera, just purely so I'd gain more quality time with Lydia. I'd say after about six months or so, she was like, why don't we sort of spin the camera, start taking pictures of you? I was like, well, why not? There's nothing to lose. So um, she used to take some pictures for me, which I used to post on my social media. Going back like a few years, there were a lot of startup pages, fitness pages and fashion pages and stuff. They used to share me on their accounts, um, likewise Lydia. That was sort of where my initial attention came from. After, I don't know, six months or so again, I then started to network with other guys on the internet that were doing similar things, so in the fitness industry and stuff. And we used to just share each other's accounts and we just sort of grew together. Yeah, it's just sort of like, snowballed up from there really. I guess I have Lydia to thank for my blog because she's the whole reason why I started. So my next question is from Supreme Lescano. Um, again, I've so said that wrong. Have you thought of being a Hollywood actor? Um, no, I haven't thought of being a Hollywood actor. However, if anybody in Hollywood wanted to approach me with a acting offer, then I would probably say yes. And I would probably be so scared you wouldn't even understand. <laughs> next question is from I'm only a surfer. I think that's what it's supposed to say. How did you decide to become a YouTuber? Deciding on having a YouTube channel sort of again came through Lydia. Lydia was um, probably about a year ahead of me on YouTube. I was just sort of like at home and she was editing her videos and she was watching her videos back and stuff and I just saw how much happiness and enjoyment it brought her. Very much like the blog scenario and so I just thought yeah I want, I want to try this out actually it does look like loads of fun. So the next question is from Colty0484 and they've asked when are you coming back to Glasgow? <laughs> 
I don't know when I come back to Glasgow, but I really, really want an iron brew. So I'm gonna get one later, I think. Austin.acosta14 has asked, have you ever kissed a male? Please put it in your video. No, I've never kissed a male because I am straight. So yeah, no. Next question is from K Alex the Great. They ask, how did you start becoming such a popular men's fitness and lifestyle blogger? Well, thank you. <laughs> um, I didn't know it was so popular. Um, again, probably answered that earlier with the question. Um, I started because of Lydia, I guess. And um, yeah. So my next question is from Azeb1402. Um, some of these names are really tricky. They ask, how long have you been with Lydia? That's a question that puts me on the spot. Um, again, I think it's like three and a half, four years, and she'll probably kill me when she sees that I didn't know the exact answer to this, but I know it's sort of like just before Christmas time. So my next question is from Robin, and they ask, how do you keep such a disciplined lifestyle? Do you think you're just blessed with epic genes? <laughs> um, no, I, I, I sort of like just try and balance and just put the effort in when I can. So if I have time to go to the gym, I will go to the gym. Yeah, I just sort of like try and be as good as I can. And obviously I do male groom and take care of myself and just try and make the best out of the situation. <laughs> so my next question is from Mui. I really can't say that. Mui, Mui. Why don't you and Lydia ever kiss? Hmm. Um, we do kiss, we kiss a lot. We just don't shove it in your guys faces I don't know I'm not really one of those guys that does like public displays of affection um, I'll hold Lydia's hand I'll cuddle her and kiss her but I don't feel the need to sort of like shove it into people's faces because some people don't like seeing it so yeah we just sort of keep it for us rather than for everyone my next question is from William Snee what skincare do you use in the morning and night what moisturizers etc so two moisturizers that I am currently using loads are the L'Oreal Man Expert anti-fatigue I um, don't know if you guys can see this. I'd say that I probably use this one in the mornings and I use this after the gym. Um, they've also got another product which is in a blue bottle which I also use after the gym. And then I use Neutrogena's um, oil-free moisturizer in the evening just before bed. So yes, these are my two moisturizing products at the moment. My next question is from Fabian underscore zero. Ali, what is your biggest accomplishment so far this year? I'd probably say my biggest accomplishment have been my trips because they just feel like quite a big deal. I've worked with some really cool brands that I completely love and very passionate about, so that's been awesome. I'd say that my biggest accomplishment would be my trips away. Next question is from C.Rares. When did you start going to the gym and what is your height? So earlier I said my height's 5'9 and I started to go into the gym on Easter weekend. I think it was like 2006 or something. It was like seven years ago, so whatever that is. Is. Maths is terrible. 2005. So Ram Cahill asks, are you planning on getting a new pet? Yes. So again, I badly screenshotted, um, so I don't know who this question was from, sorry. Um, they ask, what is your favourite brand? I'm assuming they're mean in fashion. So I'd say probably my favourite brand is probably Reese. I really like their clothing and their products and I just think that their sort of like designs really suit my style. So my last question is from George Burgess 97 and he asks, what are macros and what are the best ways to keep track of them? Now that's quite a complex question and I could probably sit here for another half an hour trying to explain what macronutrients are. So I won't do that. What I will do for you guys is I will leave a link below to um, a fitness guy called Steve Cook who did an amazing video, it's a two part video on macronutrients and when I was training probably, I don't know, two or three years ago I decided that I wanted to track my macros and I watched these videos, I just found them so easy to understand and he explained it really well. So rather than me trying to explain what macronutrients are myself, I'm gonna link those videos below for you guys. So make sure you check them out if you do want to learn about macronutrients because I promise you, they will change your fitness game. That was my last question. Um, thank you for watching and also don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Looking forward to doing more of these videos and keep an eye out for future vlogs. Until next time, I'll see you later guys.